So hello and welcome to this uh, quick Adobe anime tutorial and in this video I would like to just show you the difference between like insert keyframe or insert frame like you have the shortcut F5 or F6 uh, so yeah, uh, very quickly I will show you so I am just going to have uh, HTML5 canvas which is going to be 500 by 500 and I am just going to create uh, some kind of rectangle so I am just going to choose maybe a blue color no stroke like so and uh, the rectangle options I can put to the 20 it will just make the corner radius but that's not the point but I am just going to create a shape and imagine that I would like to uh, animate this somehow so I am going to convert it to the symbol so modify convert to symbol or f8 and I can call this to be symbol 2 but make sure that it is movie clip and I'm just going to click ok so if you would like to animate this for example I would like to animate this from left to the right I can go ahead and create the keyframe so I can go to the frame 25 I can right click and I can choose insert the keyframe or the shortcut is uh, f6 like so and uh, yeah and uh, imagine that at the at the beginning i am going to go to the to this keyframe and with my shift and arrows i can position it outside of the stage that is this clip content outside of the stage if you cannot see things outside of the stage and yeah and right now i can go ahead and create classic twin so i am just going to have uh, this kind of animation and if i go with Control enter command enter to see this in the browser we are going to have the animation and by default it's going to be looping forever now imagine that you would like this animation to go like this and then stay for a few moments and then loop so we have right now the option to insert the keyframe or insert the frame so if i want i can go ahead for example to go to frame f uh, to go to frame 60 i can right click and i can choose insert keyframe and this is going to be just fine so right now if I go with Control Enter, uh, it is just going to stay and it is going to be uh, looping like this forever. But right now, when I have this as a keyframe, uh, I can like move this. So, for example, I can go with uh, Shift and Up Arrow like two times, maybe like so. And maybe you will see that at the end, it is going to move a little bit before it will loop again. Okay, so hopefully, hopefully you can see this. Uh, now I will go. A uh, couple of uh, times back, so Control Z like so, until I will have this like so. And if you just want to extend the timeline and you do not want to create any other animation or anything, uh, I wouldn't go with F6. You can; it is going to work uh, fine. But I would just right click and I would just go with Insert the Frame. And right now I don't have an option uh, to to change this so it is just going to extend the timeline and if i would uh, be on the maybe last frame when, when i just inserted the frame and i will try to move this so i will go a couple of times up like so it is actually going to change this keyframe okay so this keyframe is going to be like uh, like so and right now the animation is going to be like this so so yeah uh, but the, the point is that if you just want to extend the timeline you can go with with the uh, F6 uh, and it is not going to be uh, any issue you are just going to have the timeline extended with the with the keyframe but uh, you if you just want to extend the timeline the better option is go to with F5 insert frame and yeah so yeah this is it this is all I just wanted to share this for some of you that may not know this so yeah thank you very much have a nice day and goodbye